Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Right, so today at 10, they're going to be having the rodent guy come out and they're going to be checking the traps. I know yesterday when we were here during the estimate and everything, the homeowner did mention that a couple of traps went off. So there are some rats that have been caught, but we also know that there's still a lot up there. So gonna see what he says. I know we're gonna, while we're doing this, we are gonna have to try to gently move the traps so that they stay up there at the same time without getting our fingers caught. But we're gonna be starting in the garage today for right now because there is like no ceiling in the garage. It's just go straight up to the attic or straight up to the roof mm. with all the insulation. Gotcha. So we're oh, gonna well. be sweeping everything up, getting everything picked up that is currently down. Right. And then we're gonna cover everything or move something to cover. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull everything down. So I mean, it'll be easier if we can get the vacuum just to get it up there and get all the stuff out. Because if we drop the ceiling and there's still droppings and everything, all it's gonna do is get it out. Yeah, so I mean. <clears throat> I mean, cause out of anyone that we work with, be able to fit in there and then so, obviously and she's going to be her, be, her like full Army ppe crawling. and she's going to be up there for 15 20 minutes leaning down getting out coming back kitchen it's going to be a whole hassle so that's why we're trying to get the vacuum no, I got so if we can get the vacuum it'll be a whole lot easier. start pulling out insulation but we're trying to minimize the droppings that are in the insulation we don't know how much is in it and at the same time we don't want to cross contaminate and keep everything bacteria wise on its tools on its equipment personal items stuff like that we'll grab Put it on the floor. Once everything's there, bag it, trash it, go on the back of the truck. Oh, there's one right there. Got him. Woo! Shit! Uh oh, what is that? No, it's a piece of metal. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna get it cleaned up. We're gonna vacuum again. Then we're gonna start on the other side. We're going to do the same as everything. Same process. All right, Steve Wolf here, general manager of the Tampa location for Spalding Decon. Uh, I'm out here in Clearwater for a rodent dropping cleanup. Um, we have a 2,000 square foot house here that uh, the owner was actually in Minnesota for about a month trying to sell his other house and they came de came back home. Um, they had taken the animals and the uh, from the home, their, their cat and two do dogs, or sorry, dog and two cats and came back and the rats had taken over the, the house. So what we're doing right now is we're pulling all the insulation and cleaning up the area. Then we're gonna disinfect the house after we make sure that all traces of the rats are gone. Um, we are working in conjunction with a Terminator um, to make sure that there is no more presence of rats after we leave. Now get vacuum, vacuum up the floor, all the flat surfaces first. Come nice. in with my spray. Antimicrobial, wipe down everything, flat surfaces, TV, dressers, chairs, bed, all that stuff. Contain the door, fog it, on to the next room. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. It's crazy how it didn't really affect all these others. Yeah. It's just right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Sorry. It's all good. We're going to get clean. We're going to get it done. Ah, run into the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we set containment over the door so when we start to do the demolition, the removal of drywall flooring, doesn't matter. If there's mold, if there's blood, rat droppings, the smell and uh, 
the dust from when you're doing the work. You don't want it to travel from space to space and cross contaminate in your work area from your common area so that then you won't have to do more inside of the house. Just keep everything contained inside your work area so that when you do come out, everything will be good to go. There's insulation in the closet on the floor. So yeah, this is all insulation it. right here. In the wall. So I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can find a hole somewhere. Mm. Like that is a hole right here. Make sure you take a picture of this. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Neal, do you know, did you know that there's a hole in the closet where they ate through? I'd, I'd say there's a hole there. <laughs> I was looking at that, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's nothing up top. Well, I didn't, I, you know, I saw it. I didn't pay much attention to what was happening. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do? So it's just got to be a patch and fixed. Yeah. Um, can I, do we need to move this? Uh, to see, what yeah, because we don't know how whole. Uh, yeah, just to make sure there's nothing else Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Because that's that a lot of insulation yeah. for the little. Well, let's swing it around. Mm -hmm. Here you come. Now watch the chair. Yeah, that's about right. Your droppings there. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Mm -hmm. So all that insulation is going to have to come out too. Yep. Mm -hmm. You continue to drywall damage on behind the plaster on that side as well. Okay. So we just found out that all that is exposed, and that's where some of them have been coming in at. I'm just glad that they didn't eat through that pipe, but at the same time, it's a copper pipe, so they probably wouldn't even eat yeah. through that. But if they did, they'd have a whole lot of water damage in here as well. Oh, yeah. right, let's vacuum in here real fast. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Don't even want to know. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Um, the vacuum was starting to fall apart over. Ah. I think when I stepped on it, I pulled this piece right here out. It made me a little nervous. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're finished here, day one of the rodent infestation cleanup. Um, we removed all of the insulation that was exposed inside of the garage. We cleaned it out, we sprayed, fog, disinfected, and inside of all the affected areas inside of the house where they were located. Um, we did find an exposed wall inside of the closet where they were making their way in. It's how they got through the house. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna come back. We're gonna cover contain more of the affected areas and spray and kill. We might have to remove some of the plaster and the drywall inside, but if we can manage and we can get this vacuum that we're hoping for, that'll be such a plus. If not, if not then I get to climb up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so me and my partner, we're obviously you see we're enthusiastic about the next day, but we're gonna be all right and we're gonna get it done. Until tomorrow, we'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it's Shelby. We're back here with our client with the rodent infestation. <laughs> Today we're going to have a lot of fun. I get the joy of going up into an attic, very tight space, and getting all the insulation out using a 100 foot hose right here that we've got hooked up to a very powerful vacuum. We've got a big bag, going to be very heavy. <laughs> oh, I'm very nervous because uh, I know there are rats out there still alive. We've already seen a bunch of them dead in the traps. So now I get to have a little fun with some live ones. Hopefully, just praying I don't get bitten. Got one. Elvira. Lay it on me, Amorgana. Big bucks, big bucks. Oh. 
I bequeath to my house my beloved Poodle Mel Gunford and my precious book of recipes. That's it? House, a dog, and a book? Dude! Is that Elvira's 40th anniversary very scary, very special special? Yeah. And then after this, I'm gonna watch Carrie. And then after that, I'm gonna watch VHS 94. And then after that, I'm gonna watch the media. How is this possible? It's Shudder, dude. It's like the Netflix of horror. Shudder has the largest and fastest growing collection of horror movies and series in the world. And it's not just your mainstream blockbuster hits. It's also low budget indie movies and horror classics, even original series and podcasts. You can watch it on pretty much any device ranging from Apple TV to Android. And it's only $5.99 a month. That's less than like 60 bucks a year. Get started streaming the best horror, thriller, and supernatural content. Shudder's expertly curated collection includes must-see titles like Vicious Fun, The Mortuary Collection, and PG Psycho Gorman, plus the best horror documentaries and the hit Creepshow TV series from the executive producer, Greg Nicotero of The Walking Dead. To try Shudder free for 30 days, go to shudder.com and use the promo code CRIMESCENEQUEEN. So we can get the vacuum shut on because she thinks it ran out of gas and if it ran out of gas let me fill it up with gas and we get the vacuum turned on she can get up there we get all this insulation sucked out Did you run into any more? Nope. I saw one and I heard a couple, but they were running away. Oh, oh, the rats. I was yeah, talking about rats. the rat traps. Uh, traps, I found one more. It was already disengaged. So it's like they were putting pressure on it. I think from stepping on top, it's disengaging the traps mm -hmm. and it's not catching any because of where he's putting them. Yeah, so the out of the ones that I had are, that were up there, so we caught two. We had the two that caught rats. Oh, there was, the there was two, on top. yeah, there was two right next to it that both were disengaged. Yeah. And so, you know. And I'm betting that one snapped and the rat got frantic and hit the other one yeah. and it caught him. Probably. So that is actual, that was ate by a rat, not by a human. <laughs> Yeah, and I found one of those back there too. There's, a, there's another one under here, I think. Oh no, it's not a here, but you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another one. They bought a rat, and if you look, you can see the two marks. Where they got their access point and ate it bare. There's nothing <laughs> in this. Not even crumbs. Probably use that long rat tongue to get all the. <laughs> like a rat. All right, guys, we're here out in Clearwater, Florida. We're working day two of the rodent infestation. Um, had a couple of mishaps today. We actually rented an insulation vacuum to start attacking the attic and the insulation vacuum was faulty. We called the rental company. Um, so tomorrow is actually the day we're gonna do the installation. So what we did today is we focused on all the rooms, making sure that we cleared all common areas of rodent droppings. We vacuumed, we uh, wiped down and disinfected everything. Um, what is left to do is the attic, do the, the AC vent, um, removal as well and then we're gonna do another final scrub that's gonna take the next two days um, hopefully we can get get this done without any issues it looks like other than minor mishaps like the insulation vacuum um, go being faulty 
we're, we're moving right along. Um, wonderful tenants that are, are here that are actually being very helpful. They're very, they're very understanding of what we have to do through our, our course. That's definitely a great thing. Um, and helping the job go a little bit easier. Um, so stay tuned for uh, the next two days to see how the attic insula uh, insulation removal is going. This here is an uh, insulation vacuum to soak up all the blown in insulation from inside of the attic. Once we get all the blown in insulation out of the attic, that's when we'll be able to see where all the, the droppings and where the rats, you know, did their business up there. And we get all that stuff clean, disinfected, sprayed out, wiped down, and all that good stuff. Then the AC people can come back, they can get the insulation put back in they can get the duct work clean and all that but until we're done with our portion then they're just at a standstill so we're trying to hurry up and get it done as quick as possible fastest in a timely manner so The air is just I gotta adjust it and turn it up. Uh, really. so once she gets up there and she gets situated, I'll go outside and I'll adjust it and turn it up on higher speed. It just sucks because it seems like I'm not doing a whole lot of much, but in all reality, I can't fit in the attic space. I'm gonna roll over and be flipping and tossing like a burrito, being flipped upside down. <laughs> just throw me up there. <laughs> Right now we are trying to find an easier way for me to be able to move around in the attic to get all of the insulation out of there, or at least as much as we can for today. Mm -hmm. I'll go put my gloves on. Yep, pretty easy. There we go. Right behind you. Did you have to go through the um, we ceiling? Can't. We, he doesn't want us to. Yeah. But at the same time, that's going to be probably the only option that we have. Because he's telling us that we can pick and choose areas that we can cut at. But certain areas of the ceiling, he has paneling, he has tile, he has drywall. And it's just... Let me see what you got. Okay. So over here... How's it going, man? Yeah, man, yeah. We removed all of the batting from inside here. And we cleaned up everything in here. Was there drywall here? No, oh. just insulation. Okay. Then these panels behind you are what was covering this right here, going all the way across. Okay. The road and stuff here that we're cleaning up? No. Um. He told us to trash all that because it was it got soaked. Hi. Right. How are you? Neil. I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. You as well. Um. I cleaned up and vacuumed out inside of the AC pan. Okay. As you can see from here, there's not really an access right. that you can get to. But then there's a small access on this side over here. Hey, Trudy. Hi, Laura. Hi, how are you? Where's your mold at? I was going to take a look at that. Right part. here. That's over here? That's okay. over here. Uh, lot, but it's coming from the same thing. Okay. Right in the top corner of the pantry. Yep. But then here's the other attic access. That oh, wow. Look how get. small. And I can't, can't get up there. Yeah, but the only good thing about that is there's no insulation here. Okay. So going back across the other side of the house. But it's tight. So I'm going, she's going, but obviously we can't be up there no longer right. than 15, 20 minutes at a time. Is the hose working okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it's just, it's tight. Yeah. Yeah. And so you just have to get what you can. I, that's what we've been yeah. doing. So, so what do you what do you think is causing the mold? Is it an AC leak? Or? It's because the rats they chew through it. Ah, uh, they chew through the ductwork. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. Did they show up yet, the AC people? Yeah. Okay. And they told them that no. all of it has to get redone. Yeah, that's what I figured.
Hey guys, I just wanted to stop by here and check on uh, Mario and Shelby. Uh, I feel really bad for these these clients because you know they were uh, up north. They came back to Florida and realized that rats had taken over their home and absolutely made chaos in there. They pooped everywhere. Uh, they chewed through their air conditioning. They ate their food. Uh, they destroyed their furniture. And uh, I guess the biggest takeaway from this is they discovered that there's an exclusion in their insurance policy for any type of animal intrusion or damage. So that's something you really want to check on with your in homeowner's insurance to make sure that you have some type of coverage, especially if you live in an area like Florida where um, if they see a vacancy in a house or anything, man, they take over. So we're really trying to access their attic and get all this uh, rodent feces out and you know the dead carcasses and stuff we're having a really hard time because there's no attic space to actually walk through so it's super super difficult job here um, and it's obviously super hot so they're having a really hard time navigating this job uh, but they're doing a great job and they have great attitudes so i'm super proud of them so all this in here has to come down so I can get the panels down, clean them, get the insulation down. We should be good in here. Just gotta make sure that I'm not in her way because she's actually doing laundry right there behind us. So it'll, I wanna take that, I wanna take the cabinet out, but at the same time, if I move it and if it's still soaking wet, it might break, it might crumble. Jeez. So I don't wanna take that chance. I'll just vacuum and clean up everything around it. And we should be alright. So Hopefully I can just pull them out with no problems and vacuum and get everything out of there. That thing should still be full of water and get that cleaned up and out of there too. You know what? I might just can slide it. Yeah, just slide it right on out. It's even better. Okay. I want to say it. let's take it down, but at the same time, which, which board? This, this little, little one? one? Yeah, going running across right here. The little skinny one. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That should dry, shouldn't it? It should. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave it alone because this is concrete anyway, so that's not hurting that. No, no, no. But that piece of wood right there, it it it, it could dry out. Yeah. This had some more insulation up top with some droppings that's sitting on top of the panels. So I had to make sure I dropped all the insulation, get the panels down, and just re-clean in here to get everything squared away back to the way it was before the AC people come back and do all the cleaning and make sure they put the duct back and the flex back up the right way. Is this a solution right here that you're uh, spraying the pan? Is that shockwave? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Great, they disinfect it. Nice. Antimicrobial spray. Get rid of mold, germs, any and everything you needed to do. And it's not harmful to any pets, your people, none of that good stuff. I might need to take some of that home, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Works wonders. You have a bottle at home? Of course I do. Really? I need to grab one. You have an extra one? Uh, no, but I can get you some. All you, need, all you have to do is dilute it. Yeah, just, oh. Because uh, if you use the straight concentrate, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you dilute it? Yeah, you're going. So here we are, day four of the rodent infestation cleanup. Um, just got a little bit more cleaning to do, a little bit of bits and pieces of what we missed. We were managed. We managed to get everything out of the attic. Sucked up all the insulation, got up all the dropping, sprayed fog inside the attic, which it may seem like it's not much, but it really is. 
So now we're just going behind ourselves, doing a deep clean inside all the bedrooms, hallways, common living spaces and the garage. Other than that, we should be good to go. Um, so hopefully on Monday, we can get everything finalized and squared away. And that's about it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.